Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, guys, I'm doing a quick video. It's after 10 o'clock at night. I wasn't going to do anything, but I'm going to throw out a quick video because, well, I want a snack. So what are we going to do? We're going to do a taste test. Not just any taste test, by golly. Not just any taste test. This here's a taste test from a box that I received from my little online buddy and YouTube subscriber, uh... Superman Cab 2001. What am I going to try? What the heck am I feeling tonight? Well, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to taste Nestle's Coffee Crisp. Nestle's Coffee Crisp. Okay. Thumbnail. <laughs> Alright. Now, I don't know how well some of these candy bars did shipping in the box. Some of them, some of them look a little bit worn out. Uh-oh, and this one doesn't got a hole in it. I hope I just put the hole in it. That's what she said. Anyway, well, since it already has coming apart here, I'm going to go ahead and open her up. I'm not one of those people that are scared of stuff, uh, scared of things. Uh, did Superman Kev pee in this candy bar? I don't know. He might have. Did you pee in this? You might have. I don't know. Now, judging by the picture, I don't even know what I'm looking at. But it says crisp. Uh, I can't read that. Can't read this. Can't read. But just know, guys, that uh, this is from Canada. Uh, I don't know if we have anything. I don't know if we have this in the States. But I'm sure we have things that are very similar uh, with different names or what have you. Uh, I wish I could read, but I don't even know where to start. <laughs> so, let's just give her a try and see what we get here. If I die, you know you know who they're going to come for, Kevin. You know they're coming for you. Okay. It kind of has those little wafer cookie thing kind of feel to them. Kind of a wafery kind of deal. Hmm. I'm tasting a. There's like a little chunk of chocolate. Now, would this taste better fresh off the fresh out the uh, store or something? Maybe. Don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very familiar to something like I've had here. Um, I don't eat a lot of candy bars, so I really can't tell you. But it's definitely got that. A little waffly crisp kind of taste to it. I don't know. It's hard to. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. You can get those little packs of them, and they're like usually strawberry or vanilla or something, and kind of wafery kind of looking stuff. Almost has that, but maybe not quite. But man, do I need glasses? There's like toffee, or there's something in there. Maybe it's like there's three layers of something and then it's got and then it's coated in chocolate. Probably can't see it. This ain't you know, action cameras aren't the best for super detail here, but looks like there's three layers. And then it's coated in a a nice uh Kind of a 
thick, uh, hearty uh, chocolate. You gotta bite through there pretty good. It don't just like, you know, fall apart on you. It's got a good bite to it. Have a treat. Hmm. Not buttery fingery. Yeah. And we definitely got something like this because I know I've tasted it. Hmm. I do like the chocolate taste. Well, it's got a good taste, Kevin. Hmm. I like that. Very familiar taste. Very familiar. Just hard to hard to place it. That's the first of the candy bars that I've ate, actually. Um, I did have food out, and I was going to cook tonight, but I ended up going to run into Steak and Shake after work. I had to, on Fridays I have to go to the bus garage and turn papers in, and so sometimes on the way home on a Friday, I'll pull in Steak and Shake or whatever and get something to eat, because most of the time my wife's there. So I went ahead and ate there, but I did have supper pulled out and ready to go. Um, I had the macaroni and cheese that you sent me, and the package of uh, dip uh, mix stuff. I was going to make that, and I still might make that tomorrow. Um... Because the food that I pulled out, I went ahead and cooked a little while ago. And I got it all put up in containers and stuff. So I might go ahead and make that macaroni and cheese and that little dipping sauce tomorrow. Because I made, I got some chicken and steak and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But, okay, long story here. Anyway, Superman Kev, 2001. I really appreciate that. That was a good candy bar. I appreciate it. Uh... I mean, you can't go wrong with that, and even after it's been shipped and all that stuff, and and it's several days old now, um, heck, I can't give it less than a 5 out of 5. Can't give it less than a 5 out of 5, plus it was free from my buddy. Shoot, that's all good. Well, I would tell you to run out to the store and grab one, but unless you live in, you might not get to do that. But there are some equivalents out there. You can go out there and try and find something yourself. Post in the comments if you've ever had them. Pretty good little candy bar. Uh, just post something. Tell me how beautiful I am in my hat. Why is it whenever we wear hats we feel we need to go, Yo, what's up? Mm -mm. Anyway. Alright. On a chocolate high, guys. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope you appreciate it. I have a long weekend. I'm sure a lot of you do. I'm going to try and get a couple extra videos done. A little something. Stay tuned. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. Even when eating a candy bar all the way from Canada that you can't have. <laughs> We'll see y'all later. I need help. Or a candy bar. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!